probably wondering where I've been for a little bit, and you're probably wondering why we're in my kitchen. You're probably wondering why I'm just staring off into the distance at random times, thinking of birds and bees and dogs and squirrels and ravenous aliens that tend to... Anyways, I want to talk about some things I read about clinical depression. I am what I would believe somebody that is fairly happy. I have uh, sometimes a lot of energy, high spirits. I like to run around and I'm a total goofball. But there are some days where this is it. This is what I do all day. And I wonder why. So, if you ever have any thoughts on anything, look up stuff on YouTube, that's what I did. Or, if you ever really need to, seek professional help. That's always helpful. But, I just wanted to talk to people and tell you everything's fine. Everyone will be fine. Time takes care of stuff, but with people that have unusual chemical imbalances or stuff, I just thought I'd make a video on some of the things that I do to get out of my little funks. I do realize that sometimes you actually can't get out of uh, certain situations because of chemical imbalances in your brain or outside influences and it's really hard when other people do not understand that you can't just be like snap out of it not that big of a deal it doesn't quite work that way so here's a couple things that i do one thing I discovered a long time ago sometimes helps on the days that I don't feel great. No reason. Sometimes I'll just have a little this stuff is really good. Tinting. This stuff is really good. It's very good. I just bought some of this stuff. I had some of it in the bottle. I'm sure, I'm a okay. lot of people love that, but this stuff tastes like crap. Don't open it with your teeth. But always try to do things that, you know, I got out of bed today. Pat yourself on the back for something like that. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Everything will be fine. Anyways, do nice stuff for yourself. I made myself a lovely cup of cappuccino. It's so great, it makes me feel good. I even bought two cups so that way I could have some with my friend. Things you can do are things like light a candle. Watch it. Make sure it's a nice scent that you like. Maybe find some little projects, little things that make you happy that don't spend that much money. Maybe sit down and take a look at a good book to read. Something that gets your mind working, processing, something that you can relax to. Fantasy, science fiction, Analyzation, working command line, configuring files, Linux shell. Ow, my head. Or maybe you can learn something. You can always pick up any type of computer or your cell phone. Get on YouTube, learn something new. You can always learn a new skill off of YouTube. Or something. <laughs> You can also do things that 
you might find therapeutic, like hanging up clothing. And it just, it gets it out of the way. Uh, you're not living in a basket anymore. It's very, sometimes very, very, very relaxing. And maybe try some other activities. It may be work, but you'd probably feel a little bit more accomplished, such as taking out the garbage. In the middle of the rain, Maybe even opening a window and letting some fresh air in since it's such a nice day out there. It's so welcome. No. One thing you can always do that I don't actually recommend for too many people is spending a grotesque amount of money on making YouTube channels. Yeah, I don't recommend that. But, you can be a content creator. It's a nice little hobby. Sometimes it's fun. But, above all else, take care of yourselves.